say something provocative, something maybe that you guys will find racist. Many of you might think of me as less of a human being for stating this. And I'm sure some of y'all are saying, no, nah, that's not possible. And maybe you're right, but here it goes. All lives matter. Whoa, I guess the world still exists. Hey, is that, is that not the worst thing that you've ever heard in your life that's come out of somebody's mouth? Of all the countless refrains that I could have stated, well, let me ease that a bit for you. Let me put a little bit of sugar on that. Let me make that a little tastier. White lives matter. Huh? That not cool with you? All right. All right. Asian lives matter. Black lives matter. Eskimo lives matter. Mexican lives. Well, let's not go overboard. So, so as you can see, according to me, almost all lives matter. I got to say, I don't need someone to tell me that black lives matter. Frankly, I'm a bit insulted. You think I have to be told that. You're an individual. Your life is derived from the same sacred energy that every atom in this universe comes from. And as a manifestation of whatever you want to call that, whether that be God, whether that be spirit, or just some random physical event, we are all inexorably linked. I recognize the beauty within you, and you do the same for me. It's really, really that simple. Once we do that, we can interact based on the merits of the individual at hand. I don't care about the color of your skin, but when the National Museum of the African American History and Culture declares that rugged individualism is whiteness, I scratch my head. The idea that self determination is whiteness? Look, I'd like to think that I have some power over my life, but I've got to say, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with thinking of it as white power. When the nuclear family is said to be white, I wonder about Asia and which European settler might have introduced it to them because I'm certain that in Asian culture, the family is very much cherished. Must be from white people though, right? The scientific method is whiteness, as is objective thinking. That's whiteness too. I suppose though, if you're the minority who managed to come up with this, for you, it's gotta be true. The scientific method, objective thinking, these are where, what have gotten us to where we are technologically right now that we can enjoy their, our lives so easily. So the idea of calling them whiteness, I have to ask, is that a lame attempt at an insult? That's like me getting an argument with you and you saying, you know what, you got a big dick. Oh, uh, okay, well, I guess I can deal with that. Delayed gratification. Well, that's whiteness too. I suppose that's why I could go to the inner city and find so many more gold chains and clocks around than I would school books. Got an idea, just a hypothesis. Maybe my relative financial success is not based on my hard work and sacrificing the present moment and enjoyment of it, where I would have to spend money for anything. Because I scrimped and saved every penny I earned while living in a shoebox, it's not because of these reasons, but because I was competing financially against people who are honorable enough not to commit cultural appropriation, like saving, delayed gratification, even if it would help better their lives. I honor you. You see, I've been made aware I do not have the right to question the esteemed National Museum of African American History and Culture of their logic. See, I recognize that those people, if I can say that, the darker skin, that they're a protected class. Let's just put it like that. I recognize that and that I, as a white person, cannot question your views because of the increased melanin in your skin, which makes you superior to anyone. 
except for the part where logic is probably whiteness as well, which might give me, and I underline might, I'm not usurping this privilege, it might give me the right to question it. I don't know. I will contact my superiors and verify this. Being on time is also whiteness. But, you know, that's not completely true. See, I have German friends that are beyond punctual. They've never been late in all the time that I've known them. Maybe we should just redeclare the Aryan race to be supreme in this case, because they are the height of this chart, which you're already putting us on top. But didn't someone already do that like in the 1930s and 40s? I'm not 100% not sure this is the case. Maybe I'm just speaking out loud. I'm definitely no student of history. The list here goes on, and it includes things like being oriented towards action, the desire to be the best, all these things that people generally find pretty good. So I guess my question, is the National Museum of African American History and Culture, which, by the way, is taxpayer funded, meaning that your money and my money went into the time, the materials, and the resources needed to produce this chart in addition to the fact that they probably had to pay some white nationalists like David Duke a very hefty sum to pen this for them, to galvanize these ideas into their minds. Can we not object to that because that money went to a white man? Because you guys are not only making me race conscious for really the first time in my life, but giving me all sorts of reasons to be proud of my race. You want to divide America more by putting the whites on trial. You are driving act people actively, it seems, to the KKK. I have to say, I owe you an apology. I originally thought this whole intersectionalist woke agenda was about demeaning and shaming people for being white. And suddenly you're heaping praise upon whitey. I just find it a bit confusing. I can't say that I mind it per se. You know, it's, you're, calling, you're saying we have big dicks. It's just the inconsistency that I find confusing. Anyways, thanks for all the credit for the work of Asians and Mayans who kept calendars on their own. I guess as somebody who you are declaring to be white and making me well aware of it, can I just say I appreciate it. I know y'all seem to be making a strong case for white lives matter. But I don't believe being white entitles us solely to these awesome strategies of dealing with the world. I think y'all are entitled to them as well. I want every human being on earth to be able to choose to adopt these strategies if they so choose. Even if you're committing cultural appropriation in doing so. You have my permission. After all, your life matters. All lives matter. Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, share it with somebody. Thumb that video up. Culturally appropriate this channel.